So I want to first mention that I am totally new to lawn care. This is the first time I've ever owned a home. I've been a city kid my whole life. So Polly just got into home ownership about, say about eight years ago. So I had a guy who was doing all the lawn work because he knew what he was doing. I decided, you know what, maybe I should learn. So that's why I'm buying a lot of these accessories. Plus I add it to my, the uh, area that I have to take care of. So, um, I purchased a few items which I thought were pretty cool. So this item I never heard of. This is basically a, a lawn sweeper. I never knew it existed. Never saw it in the store. Never seen it work. Again, as a city person, we have concrete. Uh, we have sanitation combined, clean everything up. Not us. And maybe a broom. But this is really cool. So this you just go along. The, uh, reminds me of the old rug cleaners that you used to use back in the day that you probably people still use it but I remember watching people in hotels use them you kind of swept the rug and we were tiny small at the end picked up very uh, picked up everything within a small little compartment it wasn't really to like suck up everything it was just to clean up the stuff that you saw it sort of works that way it has a brush underneath you push this is the manual version you push and all the debris tree limbs you know small tree limbs leaves oh my god leaf cleanup it's gonna be so easy with this it all goes into that bag then you take and you discard the bag it is i mean not the bag but the contents of the bag so i was so impressed by the manual one i already did a video on that one i love it i am not getting rid of it at all even though i got this one which is the one for the lawnmower This is the lawnmower version. You pull up, you pull, you hook this to the hitch in the back of the lawnmower. You pull it and it does the same thing as that, but you're not doing any of the manual labor. I still like the manual one. Uh, certain locations, this can't get to, this will get to it. Uh, also to give my kids a workout, plus myself sometimes to go out there and do it manually. My son and I will put it at the lowest setting, the manual one, and we'll both push it and it just picks up everything just within two hours i cleaned up what would have probably taken me a couple of days to do with a rake uh and uh a plastic bag this thing just went by i took that i dumped it in the garbage threw it away i'm done with the other one i gotta rake it pile it up yes the kids get to play on that pile of leaves but then you also have to put that in plastic bags and then throw it away what a pain in the butt so much better with this so now i'm hoping that the one for the lawn works just as well or even better and then it'll be additional items especially when fall comes to clean up those leaves oh what a what a nightmare what a nightmare when you know you have a large lawn it's really a lot of work so let's open it up and take a look at it These are all the contents. And hopefully the tools or the screws set up is identical to what the manual has in store. So hopefully step one is on the top, two, three, and so on. But we'll see, not everything works out that way. I'll show you everything I used to put it together so that you can start off I'll show you at the end of the video so that I would have used everything I needed to use so that you can start off the process or the project or the putting together of this item with the right tools. Um, you know, all the tools I actually used. Well, let's put it together. As usual, I'll have this at the end just in case you lose yours, you can go back to it at the end. So the first thing to connect in step one are these curvy bars. There's only two curvy bars. There's two other types of bars. Uh, those are the same also. And then the bag that holds the debris. Since I put this together on the manual one, I pretty much can identify some of the parts. This will be the bag where the debris goes into. This is the bar that hooks up on top. And that I have no idea. So 
Let me hook these two up. So supposedly you take these two. You got to put them here. Hook them up here. According to the instructions. So let's do that. And you're supposed to take. It says. Uh, hmm. Part one. Oh, it is panel. Wait. Panel one. Panel two. Well, hopefully this is it. <laughs> okay. And it comes. According to the instructions, part one, you have to use panel one. So let me take these out. There's what, six, three, six of these, six washers, and six nuts. So you do this at your own risk, but I'm skipping part one. I'm going straight to step four, and I'll tell you why. I need this bar set up so I know exactly the way it goes in, so there's no confusion. So I think starting with step four for me, again, just my opinion, my view, you do what you want. It's gonna be easier for me to make sure I'm putting everything in correctly. Uh, because part one, it's, I just wanna make sure that this is the right spot for it. So in part four, again, you do this at your own risk. I have to use panel number three. So panel number three is here. These are the parts I gotta use. I'm going to do that to put part four and some other panels. And step three, sorry. Step three also. I'm going to do step three first to step four. I just need to get this bar together up here. So in step three, I'm going to need um, panel two. And then step four, I'm going to need panel three. I'm using these two here first. After looking at the instructions, I knew something was amiss as all these items. So these additional items, again, I'm new to this, please be kind. So these are the additional parts I'm gonna put here on the side. Um, my hitch plate was missing and, uh, wow, I was hoping it was a lot more easy to put together. I know it's going to be so much many more contraptions. Hopefully it's uh, not that difficult. So another empty box. Now there's nothing else. I've looked everywhere. Nothing else. So go through the box. Make sure you open everything up. These are additional items I missed. I'm so sorry. I don't want to be too confused. I'm trying to be as unconfusing as possible. But these are the additional items. And I guess we'll find out. This is probably for lowering the brushes the hitch plate. I'm still going to do what I said I'm going to do so I can get started, but uh, these are the additional items. Sorry about that. Now let's get back to putting the other two pieces together. So let's take the hitch plate right here, and it says, and then place it over here. And then we're going to take one of the screws. So let's put this together. So I'm going to need three 14s screws. Three fourteens and the nuts and the washer. I'm putting the 14 screw according to the instructions. Then I got to put number 32, which is this thing here. This is number 32. And then I have to screw it in with the nut, which is number, uh, should be 25, with the 25 nuts. So it'll sort of look like this is what I did. Screw, little thing in the middle. Oh, I forgot the washer. Sorry about that. Let me take this out. Please. Does it have a washer? No, no washer. I'm sorry. Disregard that washer comment. I thought 32 was a washer. It's not. It's that piece right there in the middle. And that's it. Let's go to the next step. Now I have to decide on the hitch where I'm putting it since there are a number of screws here. So I'm putting it on the 11 inch. Since my hitch is 11 inches off the ground, that's what I'm assuming they are, they are talking about. So mine is 11 inches. So that's how I have it set up right now. Just like that. And then I gotta put this screw to the final two here. And let's tighten everything up and uh, make sure everything is secure. So now I'm going to step number, I'm gonna finish off step number four. So I went step three, now I'm going to step four. 
and do the hitch pin and the um, it's the uh, carrier bolt and nuts hatch bolt and nuts and uh, let's put that together that's gonna be according to this number panel city panel city hitch pin in the hairpin cotter. Let's take this out. Okay, let's go back to step number one. I gotta get everything from panel one, which I've showed you. And, uh, it's gonna be all these. Let me take this all out so I can use it on there. According to the instructions, the screws come from the bottom here up. Uh, it's a little nut on the bottom to get locked into place over here. Now you put the bar in, the washer, and then the nut. So all four are done, and I was having an issue putting this one on. So I'm supposed to fit a screw in through here, coming in. And I, I was like, how did they expect me to do this with the wheel? This comes up. So this will, let me show you. You have to push this down. I'm trying to do it one more time. See, it goes all the way down. And then you can fit the screw through. If you don't do that, it will not fit. So, I was like, am I gonna have to take out wheels? But no, it's, you have to just put that bar down. Let me see if I can show you. Let me bring it back up. I'm doing this with one hand, that's the problem. Again, it goes up and down. So as you can see, I did push this down and I can't get to it. So the other one, I won't be able to get to it. So again, I have to separate this bar here from that. This one, separate them. And you'll see it go up. I can't show you because you can't do it with one hand, but you gotta grab this bar and this bar and separate them. Pull this one towards you, put this, pull this one down and it'll come separated and then you can fit the screw in. No issues whatsoever. As you can see, it'll fit in just fine. That's done. Perfect. Now let's go to the next step. So I believe the next step, I'm supposed to have the bar. So I have the actual thing facing me, so it's much easier. And then I have to take this bar, this right here, and I have to fit it into the right wheel. If I'm, again, facing the side, uh, right side up. If I'm facing it like this, it's the right wheel. I have to put this through here. That hole goes through that opening there. And then this comes up. Here, and you put the screw through there. Uh, step number, panel number four. Now I said to add it loosely, so don't tighten it. So the screw goes in from the, according what I see in the instructions, which are very difficult. The screw is on the inside, and then the nut is on the outside. So let's do that. So now I'm doing panel number five. And that includes this device. Now let me figure out how this is supposed to go in because I have no clue. 
it's not as clean as I would like it to be. So I gotta run from panel five, number 27, the screw through here again. Then I have to put uh, uh, number 19, a washer on the inside. So, uh, yep. Okay, and then I have to put another washer, which is number 19 again, right here, and then I have to do number 18, which is a lock washer. through here and then I put the 16 wait, which is a bolt number 16 goes in here all the way through so it doesn't have any lock so that nut goes like that so you got number 19 <laughs> <laughs> uh, 19 and then 18 and then a uh, nut a regular standard nut uh, number 16 and then you put in a 19 again which is another washer wow there's some a lot of washers as you can see as it goes in here so you got another 19 washer on the inside again and then you put the bar on this piece this one right here i'm assuming this face is that, one. that will go on here then we put another 19 washer onto the outside here and then we put a 25 lock washer number 25 onto the outside wow that's a lot of screws nuts and bolts and washers so i think i've got it i've got to tighten all this up now okay now that that's all tightened up we go to the next step oh we have to put this in here now so this is the cap which will probably fall off I'll put it on since they want me to. So now that we've got that done, now we have to take this piece here, this piece, uh, hang it here. So the screw is gonna go through here. Number, I've gotta use panel number six, screw number nine, this one. So I take this out. There's no washers, no, no washers. This will go through here. And then this will go on the other side. I gotta fit it. So now I gotta put 34, 28, and then 31. So I gotta put 34, which is this washer. Put that through here, as you can see. And then the big boy, 30, uh, is it 31? Yep, 31. So this, I guess, will light the adjustment. So the manual one, when you do it, you just have to turn this knob, unlock it, move it, and then lock it again. So this will probably do the same exact thing. So it's all put together and I'm going to tighten the screw on the bottom. I think it's about time to tighten that up. So I tightened that up and yeah, I think there's space between the wheel. It just makes it pretty snug. This is on correctly. This is the way it's supposed to look. And then you're going to, to loosen and tighten this depending on when you hook it up. 
how low you want the sweeper to go to be rough or light because um, then they'll just get stuck if you don't put it on the right We're not done we have to use the little red indicators i guess it's an indicator to handle so this will go on here that is number 26 okay that's on there and then number uh eight will be the small one that will go on so this is how it's gonna look on the side just like that now we gotta go to the other side and step number eight uh we've got to put screw number 27 which will be on panel number seven 27 number seven so get that out. put that through here but before we actually put it through we have to put a 19 washer it's got to come out. 19 washer get another 19 washer Put that through. then we got to get an 18 lock nut lock washer put that through and then we got to do a 16 nut which is this one put that through Standard nut, no lock nut, so it should go straight through. Okay, now we have to do number seven. Uh, where is number seven here? I don't see it. Hold on. Looking for a piece of hardware, it's just the cap. Number seven is the little cap. And it goes on here. As to why this is here, I'm a little bit confused as to why this is here. Now we have to put the frame together for the actual bag itself, where the debris will go in. And I think this is correct. So according to the instructions, I believe I'm doing that right there. So it should be this one, the long bar with these. Now, there is a big difference between these. These are the three left over. This one has a curve here. And according to the instructions, it's not showing a curve. It's showing that it's straight. So let's put this together. So this frame is going to go on the inside of here. But it's telling me to move on to the next step, which is to take the second long bar like that, this one, and put it through the top part, this right here. This part of the back, the top part. Let me do that. So I put this one through. There it is right here. Now let's go to the next step. I'm finding it weird that it's not asking me to put anything, any screws on or anything. But anyway, it's telling me to put these through. Number 38. And like over here, like I told you, it is confusing, except they, uh, if you look at them very well, you'll notice the difference between the two bars. So these are the ones. This one right here is the one that'll go through there. That'll go, I believe, through here. So let's do that. So now, I've put this one through, the two of them. This is how it looks. The curved one. And I guess that's going to go inside. We're going to insert them in there to each other. So I've inserted them to each other right here. And I guess there's a screw that goes through there. As you, I turn this, you'll see the opening right there. And that will, right there, that will go uh, with a screw, I guess. We'll figure that out in a minute. Let's and just on. to note, all the bars I think are used, right? Yep. All the bars are in place. Yep. I'm done with bars, no more bars. 
This is how the setup, I think, goes. I'm almost sure. Again, follow the instructions yourself, but hopefully this video could help. We're gonna take this rod here with the threads at the end. It's the only one we have with threads on the end. It's kind of gonna go in here. I believe right through here. Yeah. Okay. All in there. And then we're going to put it through. It's supposed to look like that. And then you put this in. Put this piece through there. So now I have to snap this into place over here. So it should look like this. I made the mistake. I'm saying it now. I'm gonna probably cut that part out. You're not gonna see me, or I'm gonna actually just pass it and just let you know exactly what I have to do. But this is the way it goes, not the other way around. Like I have it there. Does not go like that. Do not do that. It goes the other way around. It has to be flipped over. This has to be flipped over has to look like that so this is the correct way of putting it i put it wrong sorry about that i hope i didn't mess anybody up i was almost batting a thousand so now you snap this into place just like this underneath putting this basket together was impossible i kept making so many mistakes so instead of having to edit and everything i'm cutting right to this seam which is coming to this i'll show you um, I probably just came off of showing you the assembly and the next uh, thing to do in regards to the poles and everything. This is it completely put. I, I hope that I did it correctly. Um, I just kept putting it on wrong and making mistakes and taking things out. So hopefully, visually, you'll be able to see what I did. I couldn't film it, too many mistakes, and I don't want to add it to the editing process. So the, this is basically what I did. So the two bars, the one here that's inside the bag, that comes up, it, it's up. And then the other one curves the other way, the one on the outside right there. So then you're gonna put, as you can see both of them through there, you're gonna put this rod with this nut that's all the way down here. Then the two bars or is it 67 and 63, whatever the two bars with the curves are, the one that goes on the bottom goes this way. And then you put the lock nut on the other side. It doesn't go all the way through. I couldn't get it all the way through. So I just turned the knob until I could. I held this with a pair of ice grips and I tightened as much as I can, as long as these two bars came together. Then you put the snap on uh, here hold it into place and this is pretty much the and then you take the two rods they don't go through so those openings here there's no screw that goes in there to hold it in place the rod holds there that in place so the rod is what's holding everything in place and the rods will look bent according to the instructions so don't worry about that it's better to do it with two people um, I'm doing it by myself so that's why I kept making mistakes uh, this was probably the hardest part of putting this thing together. So it's going to look exactly like this. You're going to have the looped arm coming across these. This is one piece going to the curved one down this way, coming up this way. So you, as you're following the instructions, it's going to get, for me, it was confusing. So if it does get confusing, it's supposed to look like this. This is my understanding. It's supposed to look exactly like this. So I hope this helps. But wow, really difficult. This comes up. I don't know what this is for yet. I'm gonna find out. And this is how it's supposed to look, okay? So hopefully this part helps. Now let's go on to the next part, which will be. Please be kind, I made another mistake. And it looks like this strap here, this strap. I hope you watched the video completely through. Goes in here. I'm gonna try to slip it in before I finish the video. But this strap goes 
here and there to keep it covered in there. I'm gonna insert this part of the video in between the area that I'm discussing this part, okay? So that um, as you continue the video, you'll see that I, I'm telling you, I don't have any idea what this, where this goes and I actually don't put it in, but this is much later in the process of putting this together. So I'm inserting it so that you don't make the mistake and continue on. So before you continue on, once you get this, before you put this together, this has to go in there like that. So let me just show you. So I'm gonna continue on the video in regards to the installation of this. Now you'll see the install of this, but I just wanna mention this before you continue on so that you don't make the same mistake I did. That's what these videos are for. Do this, this is how the strap goes. I had to look at the picture really well and I saw it hanging over and I, oh, I said, oh, that's where that goes. I must have missed it in the instructions. I found the instructions difficult. It could just be me. You know, uh, I, you know, sometimes these instructions are really difficult. I'm not an instruction following guy. Um, so it could just be me, but I'm putting this before we continue on the installation of this. This strap has to be here. Um, the video will continue on me oblivious to the fact that this goes this way so you'll understand the rest of the video this is why I didn't catch it until the end so I'm giving you the information so you don't make the same mistakes I did and this is how it goes with the string on the other side just like that and it goes here all right so let's continue on now on the bolt installation. Panel number 11, which will be step number 14. So I'm gonna put rod number 15, this one through here. This goes through here. And then we're going to put number uh, six, which is going to be those spacers. Let me get them. So these are the spacers here. That's number uh, six right there. This is gonna go in here just like that. And then we're going to number five, which I believe is the bar or A. And uh, so I think it'll go like this. And then we're doing number 34 and then we're doing number 25 which will be the lock nut and here and we're doing the same I believe on both sides let me just finish it up and show you the finished product again I almost made a mistake and thought this was garbage the rope don't throw it away it's part of putting it together That'll go in the middle here. That's what that thing is for. So let's go to the next step and do what we have to do. But before we go to the rope, take the vinyl caps, number uh, 24, take them both out. And that actually goes at the end here. And at the other end here. Now we're going to the last panel. They're all used up. And we're gonna go to panel 12. 29 and 33. I don't think there's much of a mix up there, so it's just two of each. So now we gotta go and start putting together the middle part. So I believe this is supposed to go through the here, like that. So I'm gonna do the rope later. I'm a little bit confused as to, I think I have to tie it on there, but I'm not sure. So I'm going directly into the last part, which is going to be the panel number 12. Let me take them all out. And this is what's going to make the connection between the sweeper and the bag itself. So it should go through here easily. So let's uh, do that. And it should slide 
in here, I'm making the connection for both of these, but I only have one hand, so I can't. Let me see if I can get some of it. Huh? I gotta do both of them, so I'll show you what I've done. As you can see, the holes should meet up. Wow, it was really hard to get these holes to align. I took a rub, I had to take these off, and I used a rubber mallet to hit it at this end here, so that I can get the screws through. And let me do that now. All done. Everything is done. Um, looks pretty good. Let me just show you the tools I used. These will be the adjustments here. And I guess you lift it up accordingly. I mess with it once. Let me see. Uh, I have no idea how to use this. Come over here, sir. That's the adjustment area. Let me put it, let me hook it up to the mower, but let me show you what I used again. This is why I set up. I needed a hammer to get that through. Why? Well, I, I used a uh, rubber mallet. So I just left the rope. I tied it here like that. Son, can you hold that now again? Oh, it's supposed to help you move it while you're on the actual mower. And uh, this is the whole setup here. Just pulling on it. Okay. Hopefully it works. Is this just a cover? I don't know what this is for still. Guess I'll figure that out. So these are all the tools I use. I use a, uh, on my drill, I think that's a half inch socket, half inch socket. I use a rubber mallet, pair of vice grips, another ratchet, with a uh, 14 millimeter connection. And these wrenches, half inch. Uh, I think I used 12, uh, but one of these <laughs> sides I used. And that's pretty much it. So now let's go put it on the lawnmower and see how well it does.
I'm gonna end the video here. I am no expert. If you uh, see that I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. I have no problem uh, sharing ideas. This is why I'm doing the video. I thought my lawn was pretty clean. I have already sweeped it with the manual one, but wow, what a difference. Look at all this stuff I picked up, just debris and everything left all over the place. Uh, this is just loose gravel, loose grass. And uh, this is the kind of stuff that keeps your lawn from growing. So I picking it up with this. I put it at its lowest point on one. So I get really down in there to get everything up. And it did a pretty good job. I'm very happy with it. It's gonna, I'm gonna definitely, definitely be using it a lot. And uh, I really, really like it. It's doing a great job in regards to picking up the debris from the grass. I really like it. So it's a definite keeper. I like it. Please let me know if I'm doing anything wrong. This thing over here, wow, moving this around is a pain in the butt. I gotta figure something out. Maybe put, I'm gonna put another washer in between them so it's looser uh, because I literally would, I literally have to take this completely apart in order, you know, I have to unscrew it to actually move it. So it's gotta be an easier way. I, I looked at the instructions. I'm pretty sure I got everything correct, uh, but that is something that may be a design flaw. I don't know. Uh, you can let me know. But anyway, I really love this thing. But just before I go, I wanna make sure you know or that I show you that the way to dump it is you pull on this cord, you pull up, and you pull this cord up. I'm pulling it this way. Ah, oh, this thing is heavy. Basically, <laughs> lift the bar up and you dump it just like that. All right, let me just show you. And you just dump everything. Flip it around like that and everything's dumped. I'll just ride away. All gone, empty. That rope wasn't good enough, that's for sure. But, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks okay on the bottom. This is the end result. Soon beyond the actual ground, I might have to lift it up more, but, I think it just was heavy because as you can see it's pretty much off the ground and this is definitely a keeper all right thank you for watching Some info on item. 42 inches 6 brush high speed tow behind lawn sweeper Brinley Hardy, April 9, 2021 cost, $2.99.00. Purchased on Home Depot website. High speed brushes pick up leaves, sticks, and more swinging hamper with pull cord makes unloading easy locking height adjustment secures brushes in proper position. Product overview. The Brindley 42 inches lawn sweeper is a tow behind tractor attachment that collects leaves and grass clippings into its high capacity 20 cubic feet hamper. The 5 to 1 gear ratio results in higher tip velocity, generating more force to lift leaves and debris up off the ground and into the hamper. Consistent brush to ground contact prevents the unit from skipping and passing over sections of leaves and grass clippings on the lawn. By incorporating six brush sections, Brush to ground contact is significantly improved over traditional four brush designs. This is accomplished by reducing tip lift the time and distance that the brushes lift off the surface of the lawn between strokes. When not in use, the patented self storing feature allows the unit to be stored upright to minimize the required storage space. Stop breaking and put your mower to work with the Brindley 42 inches lawn sweeper. Full swing hamper with pull cord and T handle for easy dumping. 42 inches sweeping width, 20 cubic feet hamper capacity. Patented upright self storage feature. Durable tubular steel frame. Universal fit, hitch pin included. Assembled dimension, 
53 inches width by 69 inches length by 38 inches height. Now includes updated manual for easier assembly and new step-by-step -step assembly video on Brinley's YouTube channel. Made in the USA, trusted since 1839, Brinley Hardy Company has been dedicated to providing quality, durable, and innovative lawn and garden products. For warranty, service parts, or for help at any time, reach out to the Brinley customer service team by calling our toll-free number, 877-728-8224, or by emailing customerservice at brinley.com. Replacement parts can also be ordered online at Brinley's website. Dot specifications. Dimensions. Assembled depth, in. 69 in. Assembled height, in. 38 in. Assembled width, in. 53 in. Details. Application type. Clean up. Assembly required. Yes. Capacity, cubic foot, total. 20 cubic feet. Features. Two-piece drawbar, adjustable height, adjustable mounting positions, collapsible, pneumatic tires, rust resistant, single lever height adjustment, tool free adjustments, zero turn capable. Fits brands. Universal. Fits brands. Universal. Fits models. All models with rear hitch plate. Included. Two-piece drawbar, accessories slash parts, hitch pin, wheels, material, steel, product weight, pound 68 pounds, refurbished, no, returnable, 90 day, riding mower features, no additional features, sweeping width, in, 42 inches, warranty, certifications, 